Some of those jurors are saying that this is the outcome nobody wanted. No guilty verdict, no not guilty verdict, but instead this trial, months and months in the making, will have to be tried again. I've been informed that the jury is hopelessly deadlocked, is that correct? That is correct, sir. All right. Hopelessly deadlocked is the jury's final position in the Laren Garcia murder trial, seeking justice for four people who were killed in 2019 in Palm Springs. After almost six full days spent deliberating, jurors say they just could not come together to agree. We went through all of the information, the evidence, the testimony, we debated, um, and we it just simply, we just couldn't see eye to eye. The jury split across the four counts of murder for the first three victims, nine to three in favor of guilt. And for the fourth victim, who was found a few blocks away, eight to four. It's sad what happened. It is sad. Um, justice for the family um, is all that I can hope for. We basically told the prosecution as a as a group that that we need she needed to do more. Juror number two was the four person for the group. He hopes to give both sides the information they need to help the next jury reach a verdict. He says the defense derived doubt in some of the jury's minds by pinning the crimes on another man. All it takes is just a little bit of other side of the coin that can get people to start thinking differently. Um, I looked at it completely as an, as analytically as I could and tried to weigh both uh, together. Not everybody saw that. Defense attorney John Dolan calls the deadlock disappointing, but says the split jury shows there wasn't proof beyond a reasonable doubt. They saw both sides of the story and couldn't come to a unanimous verdict about which story they seemed to find the most plausible. We hope we do a better job the next time. Prosecutors did not want to make a statement to us at this time, but they do say that they plan to retry the case and a trial readiness conference has now been scheduled for mid-June. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3, Indio.